This is part three. The king was so frustrated with the messy, demanding people of his kingdom that he decided to start over. One morning he painted a boat and set off to find the perfect spot. He told himself he'd come back someday to finish what he had started, but of course, he never did. For the first time in weeks, Monroe felt good. He felt even better when the wind pushed him close enough to reach the swan. He was feeling so good, in fact, that he forgot all about his fear of heights. But when the swan wriggled free and Monroe fell over the side, he remembered almost immediately. That might have been the end of Monroe, if this were a shorter story, but it isn't, which is why Monroe's troubles were just beginning. <laughs>